Did you notice on your tomatoes a leathery dark colored patch that occurs at the bottom of the fruit? Luckily, it's not a disease. It's uh, just a lack of one of the, of the micronutrients. However, don't rush to buy calcium supplements. The reason why um, I have lack of calcium in my tomato plants is because calcium is not easily um, dissolved in water. So for plants to, con uh, to consume calcium, which is in soil, they need to have a lot of water and they need to have water regularly so that they have this um, supply of calcium regularly. What happened is because I was not here for two weeks and I didn't water my plants, uh, they didn't manage to consume enough calcium. So in order to prevent this, never let the soil or compost in which you are growing your tomatoes dry out, especially when the fruit is swelling. There is no treatment for this, so you just have to remove this tomato and throw it away because it will attract pests and diseases. So what can you do? First of all, grow the varieties which are resistant to blossom and rot. I'm sure you're growing several varieties and you will notice that some of them um, would rarely or never get blossom and rot and some of them uh, would get it more often. So do choose the varieties which in your conditions are resistant to this. Secondly, ensure regular watering so that tomatoes have constant supply of water and of course calcium. You can use it not only by watering on time, but also using mulch that, which, uh, that will reduce evaporation of mo moisture from the soil. You can of course spray it with chelated calcium or add agricultural lime to soils. However, it's a chronic issue of lack of water, so it should be addressed chronically by ensuring pro proper watering. It would take at least two weeks to get uh, rid of this calcium deficiency, so don't be discouraged if you still, um, for the several weeks, will get um, tomatoes with calcium and rot. You will not see the progress immediately. Also, early fruit generally have the worst symptoms and they are typically lessening as the season progresses. I also suggest you to use preventative measures such as irrigating prior to especially high temperature and don't forget about stable irrigation. There is also um, research that shows that too much nitrogen in the soil, for example because you used a lot of nitrogen contained fertilizers, would also promote uh, such calcium deficiency. So be careful in applying nitrogen and as I recommend always only use natural nitrogen containing fertilizers like the one I showed here um, or for example rotten manure or compost. And don't forget to delete, to remove all those um, damaged tomatoes from your garden not to spread diseases. I hope you find this video useful and I'm also going to make uh, a few more videos about different diseases uh, of tomato plants over this um, season. So do subscribe in order not to miss them and check my multiple uh, videos about how to care about for your tomato plants. Bye!